Hi there, I'm so happy you're here. Welcome back. In today's video, we will be talking about engineering economics. But before we jump into that, I would like to remind all of you with an engineering education from outside of the United States. If you are interested in evaluating your education in this country, I have put together a PDF guide with step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. Click the link below and you can download it for free. A little note here, some states will allow you to sit for the exam before you can do your evaluation. And some states will ask for this evaluation to be done before you're approved to sit for the exam. It really depends on which state you are in. That being said, let's jump now into our example for today. Let's talk about uncertainty and risk today. Uncertainty deals with outcomes that are possible but unknown. On the other hand, risk is quantifiable. Risk is calculated as the expected loss resulting from a finite number of outcomes that have the potential to cause a quantifiable loss. Therefore, if adopting a particular design with three specific outcomes, each with a defined probability PI and a consequential loss LI, the risk can be calculated as the sum of the three products. Let's work on an example. The design of a dam has the following possible outcomes and associated probabilities and costs. What is the risk? So the risk is calculated as the sum of the products between the probability and consequence. So risk equals two sum i one to three um, probability and consequence. This means we have 0 0.05 probability of flood damage, which is going to cost $650,000, plus probability of 0 0.01 of a replacement cost, which is $200,000, plus probability of 0 0.02 of user costs, which is seventy. $720,000. And calculating all this, we're getting a risk equal to $48,900. And the correct answer is D. That is it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give it a like because this helps put this video in front of more people just like you. Keep on practicing the FE problems and I will see you next week.